yeah. Yeah, son. Woo. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Shade four fifth, man. Uh-huh. Shout to Pramil, this be her. Uh-huh. uh-huh. It's about that time. Relax, chill out. Take a pill, drink a wine. It's Shade four fifth in this bitch. Can't wait to start the show. And we can talk some shit. Come well equipped with motherfucking stories, lies, and bitches that are horny. Might tell the truth. Don't give a fuck. It's the all out show, nigga. That's what's up. Rude Jude on the west. And Lord Sid on the east coast, feeling on some breath. Wanna suck a clip. But on the board, I can't do it to this chick. She got the lowest voice in America. Why don't you leave her alone, sir? Do your work and just shut up. Man, listen, it's just Shade 4 Fifth. Bugging out on the radio like this. 888 Shade 45. The toll free number to call right now. Yeah. Ladies, fellas, truck drivers around the world, it's time to get on now. We out of here. No, we can start in the show. Shade 45. Let's go. Now I mean, it's how we do right now. You know, all our show money through Friday. Four to eight. It's like this, y'all. Clap your hands, y'all. It's like this, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. What's up, people? It's Friday, man. Hey. Hey there, it's Friday, everybody. Good day on the Friday. God damn. the week. Mm -mm. Almost done with this fucking work week. (laughs) Yes, indeed. Went by fast, too. Unless you're like some trucker, you just work all the fucking time. But I'm done a few (laughs) hours, and I'm stoked. Mm. Fucking stoked. But I'll be back at 10 (laughs) o'clock. Yeah, you got the drunk mix tonight, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Any special guests or? I got a DJ from OKPlayer.com, and I think Vado might stop by, but neither here. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Well, we got a who do we have? What guests do we oh. have? We got DJ Caesar spinning. Caesar. Caesar. Oh, we got inside. Chevy Woods is coming. Oh, yep. Chevy Woods, that's the homie. Yep, he's uh he's down with Wiz Khalifa. Ah, weed them, boy. Hold up. What else you got? Is that, is that one of his songs? That's uh, Wiz Khalifa's song. Oh. I was just hearing it earlier. Yeah. What up? Oh, we got Sam. Sam's reading the news. Sam again? Okay. Yep. Feel Good Friday. Oh, shit. Call in. Call in. And, uh, Silver's Words. Which one is this one, man? Well, this is the European edition because we found out that you are 30%. European. Shit. You are one third European. Damn. It was shocking to all of us. Oh, man. That means 125 pounds of you is European. Why you had to say 125 pounds? Because that's one third of you. Like if you chopped you up into three pieces. No, it's not. What are you? You 375, right? Uh, 371. Yeah. Really? That's how you're going to do me? You're going to do me like that over over four pounds? It's <laughs> fucked up, man. That's <laughs> fucked up. Out, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's how cold. All oh, right, so you're, man. uh, so if 123.4, fucking four, whatever. I don't even know if that's accurate. I'm not the best at math. I'm not the best at math. Oh, um, so yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do the European edition of oh, this. Shit, I know I'm gonna lose this one. Man. It's pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, I know. I already know, man. Look at that table. Like, yes, it is pretty tough. Oh um, God. Yo, I think uh, I know these words, but I know. I know. I'll tell you this. I know. I know most of these words. I don't know them all, but that's because, like, I like history and shit like that. So. I be listening to uh, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History Podcast. Look at me shouting you out, Dan Carlin. You're welcome, motherfucker. Oh, man. Thanks, So Dad. that's why I know a lot of these words, but... Ugh. This, this might be a rough one for you. Mm. It might encourage you to go learn more about your European, your European oh. heritage. 
since you're one third white. One third, one third white. One third white, man. Damn, man. Why? That shit is funny to me. You're one third white. No, I'm not. You I'm damn near Drake. Uh, no, 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 no. Drake is. You're a cunt hair away from being Drake. Drake is half, all the way half. I'm one third. You know what I mean? That ain't but that ain't but twenty percent. That ain't but twenty percent more. Drake is fifty percent. Yeah, you thirty percent. I'm twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> you want third white? No, man, I'm trying uh, to Yep. Fucking oh, hey, congratulations. Oh, man. Congratulations. Welcome hey. to the white side. Yeah, fuck you. Welcome to the Caucasian side, oh, buddy. Damn. Did you uh, see uh, the documentary yesterday? That bad boy shit? Yeah. Man, I got home late. I only got to watch like I didn't 15, see the whole, 20 minutes yeah, of it. Yeah, I didn't see the whole, whole shit, though. It's too I got long, to see man. the I got to see that bullshit foul call against Bill Lambeer. That yeah. was that bullshit. Yup, I got to see that hoe ass shit that got that gave the Lakers their back to back titles back in '88. I got to see that hoe ass shit because they didn't like that's, Bill Lambeer. No. Bro, that's why I get so upset about this officiating. As the fucking Pistons fan, just grow up, growing up watching the refs. Fucking cheat for the other teams all the goddamn time. Uh, but then I, I had uh, this chick came over and started fucking disrupting my TV watching experience. So I just took her in the back room and fucked her. And it was one of, I was real bitter the whole time. I didn't, I was like, man, I just wanted to watch the bad boys 30 for 30 on ESPN. Should have watched that for encouragement, then fucked up. She was like, you ever like try to do some shit and then the person that you're with is throwing off such a shitty vibe that it's uh, fucking with your energy? Yeah. That was why. Hold on one second. This is this uh Chevy Woods, they downstairs. Hold up. Word up. Uh oof. Yes, guess DJ Caesar. And uh oh, let's play some music. Come right back. Nah, we don't gotta come right back. Oh. I'm right here. Oh. Okay. I just had to fucking they got me doing everything down here right now. Wait a minute, everything. don't you have a uh, uh somebody open the door in the security? I'm like oh. I got nobody. And what the fuck? apparently no one c no they won't they won't let uh they won't the security won't let people up. What? What the fuck? The security won't let people up. So I got to do all this shit. I'm over oh, here getting God. gas, running up and down the fucking things. No, what I was saying is you ever been watching some shit? Yeah. And then the person in the room with you <laughs> clearly doesn't want to watch it. And instead of just playing on your phone, like what, what normal people would do. Yeah. <sighs> oh, they breathing hard. I hate that. So like, <sighs> huffing. Every time I look up from the television, she's staring at me and shit. I'm like, come on, man. Let's just go in the back room. Oh, man. Let's just go. Let's just fucking handle this it's, shit. Oh, fucking blue. I, so now I got to wait for it to come back on TV again. Now it comes on tomorrow, but I think late night. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Does it? All right, I'll, I'll find it. I'm going to find it. Because shit. they show that, and then they show Bad Boy remakes, meaning like... After to show what they think about the program, la la la. It's like an hour. A word. Yeah, it's a two-hour special. I mean, it's a two-hour event and then an hour special right after. Three hours. Yeah. Of awesome. Not bad. All boys. right, man. I'm gonna go get Chevy Woods. All right. He's downstairs waiting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Work, work, work. That's right. That's what we do. Shade four five. Yeah. It is the all-out show. Rude Judas in L.A. Lord says in New York. Got a special guest. What's going on, Jude? We got Chevy Woods here. What up, though? What up, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. Welcome to the show. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Yeah. Where you from? You from Pittsburgh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never been there before, though. Why not? Well, <laughs> it's like I'm from I'm from Michigan. I'm from like uh, outside of Detroit, and it's the same reason. It's like cool. who? Well, who goes there on purpose? You know what I mean? Unless you got like some cousins or something out there. Uh, I don't know. Pittsburgh's cool, man. I fuck, you know, like, it's weird. I, 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 I fuck with Pittsburgh because 
I feel like uh, y'all, there's a lot in common with Detroit. It's like that Rust Belt city. Right. Kind of kind of working class, work hard, grinding motherfuckers yeah, out there. It's a lot of, it's a lot of connections to, to Detroit. Even the music uh, that we grew up on, uh, I, f- I feel like y'all listen to a lot of Bay Area shit, a lot of mob shit, right? A lot of a uh, lot of that gutter ass shit. Right. And it's the same stuff that we listen to. What was some of the stuff that you came up listening to, Chevy? I mean, like I used to listen to you know a lot of local people. You know what I'm saying? Local homies. You know my uh, god brothers and you know cousins used to rap at you know local talent shows. And I didn't really get into like you know the Biggies and the Tupacs and the Big Puns till like later. You know when I was in high school. So I I didn't really like listen to like mainstream music. What was what was Pittsburgh rap sounding like back in the day? Because it wasn't until shit recently that it really got a nationwide shine. Right. I mean, it was a lot of gang banging back then. You know, whether people know it or not, it was like you know, a lot of ravel talk. You know, a lot of this neighborhood, that neighborhood, kill this guy, do this. You know, what I'm saying it was real. You know, violent, negative. Was it big gangs out there? Like, was it? Uh, were you guys affiliated to big gangs, or was it mostly like just blocks and kind of crews that were making money together? It was just like people from you know. It was a couple people from you know out in L.A. You know that moved you know and had family in Pittsburgh. So you know the traffic of that you know flying back and you know bringing it to the hood. You yeah. know showing everybody and everybody like oh oh we Crips over here or are we Bloods over here or you know what I mean. It started from somebody flying from you know California and coming there and setting the they the brought seat. that they brought that shit over the to seat. fucking Pittsburgh. Yeah, huh? man, you know what I mean. So is it does that come out in your raps as well? I mean, the neighborhood that I grew up in, you know, of course, it was, you know, a lot of crip activity, you know what I mean? And it's not that, you know, I was necessarily in a gang, but, you know, you grow up around it, you know, and your family is in it. And it's just like, you know, you get the lingo, you get the talking, I get, you know what I mean? And it might, you might not be in it, in it, but, you know, you're around it so much that it's just there. It's it's kind of ubiquitous to what, where you're at. It's like it's you're surrounded by this right. shit. So by you're you're in the gang, whether you in the gang or right, not right, in the right, gang, huh? Right, right. That shit's crazy, man. It's it's nuts to think about uh, to think about Crips and stuff like that that far east and inland as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's there. Uh, is it, are they still out there too to yeah, this day? Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's not as as uh, out loud. You know, right now. You know, people like to wear you know be fashion. You know, it'd be all wearing, uh, you know, nice clothes, and, you know, they might have on a, the red rag in a pocket, and that's it. Just a, t- a, a splash exactly. of blood. You know, back in the day, you might see red <laughs> chucks, red pants, red hat, red shirt. Straight it's up. Just like, all right, I'm cool with this. That's what's up. I, I see your uh, your your publicist lady is wearing red herself. Is, is she affiliated? No, she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> she's good. Yeah, because she got the red pants on and she shit. She all good. She all good. It's it's crazy to think about that shit, and it's I I even heard that like you know Wiz is from that type of shit too, and it his songs don't sound like it to me, and right. they were like, nah, dude, he's he's really from that, and Pittsburgh's really like that, and I was like, no shit, it's it's crazy, and the 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 stuff I the the song I heard from you was it sounded like a dope deal a dope dealing song, <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'm I'm fucking with this shit. I thought it was I thought it was real gutter, and and I was fucking with it. Let's uh actually let's talk about one of the songs. We got uh Thirty Deep. Why don't you tell me a bit about that one? Well, that's my uh new single about to drop. We about to move on it. Shout out to Wiz, Will, you know, the Cap, R M M. Uh, you know, the whole gang. I think you know recording this song is like it was the first time that I really like went in and worked. And then you know when I got done with the song and I left L.A. and then I came back, I was like, I want to you know go in and fix some things again. So that's the first time like I really like paid attention to how the you know instruments sound and you know what type of vibe I wanted to get. And you know Wiz helped me out a lot too. Because you're you're really known for the mixtapes, right? Right. So how with the with the way you make a mixtape is it a lot is it a lot faster is that what you mean yeah it's a lot faster it's a lot easier you know what i mean you don't i don't i don't like necessarily pick the beats the same you know what i mean i'm when i'm picking the album beats or picking you know a single beats i'm looking for the big arena sounding yeah when i'm just doing a mixtape it's just a rap over and just to get you know the point across over the lyrics is that how is that how you're really thinking about it now because i was just talking to my homeboy about that like it's about rocking arenas now it's, it's trying to it's trying to reach uh a broad as broad audience as you can right right you got to i mean the bigger the music you know what i'm saying the bigger the 
fans, you know, more fans are going to come out. So, bro, you tall as hell, man. Like, how come you not playing <laughs> ball? Is it, does everybody ask you that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to, man. I used yeah. to do it every day. Like, I used to play basketball every day. You know, football, wide receiver. I went right. to college. You know, I left school. I was on academic probation. It wasn't the thing for me. I told my mom I'm leaving. And I, you know, I left. Were you getting more pussy as a ball player or as a rapper? Like, what? Well, a ball player for real, because I got a girlfriend. Oh, oh, damn. You know what I mean? So I don't yeah. be chasing after. You know? So how long you got a girlfriend for? A long time. So you just you locked it down, chilled yeah, the fuck out. I got out. a family, man. Well, congratulations to you Thank on you, that. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. At first, I used to be like, that's whack as hell. But like now that I'm pushing 40 and still single and shit, <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm pathetic. You know? <laughs> like I'm just, good. I need to get a fucking girl, lock it down. Well, I like I, I like did a lot of you know running around and stuff when I was a teenager and like in my twenties and after like college and stuff like that. So, what school you go to? Robert Morris University. And you was just fucking up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I had this. I'm gonna just tell you the real story. Like I had this asshole uh, coach that yeah. was like the offensive coordinator. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, when I was there, he was brought. I was brought there, and he was brought to me. To, to like look after me and make sure my grades and all this shit. But he was just acting like an asshole. Right. So, you know, I'm from the hood. You treat me like an asshole, I'm going to treat you like an asshole back. You know right. what I mean? So it wasn't like I was hurting myself, you know, as I found out in the long run. Yeah, the of big Getting picture. an education. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it was just like I stopped going to my class. And just this one day when I was on my way, I decided I want to just leave. He pulled up and was just like, yo, man. You've been lying to me, man. You you ain't been going to class. I was like, man, fuck you, man. I'm out of here, man. I don't give a shit about you, none of this shit. I'm, I'm gone, man. He was just like, all right, that's your choice. And, you know, later on down the line, I was like, damn, I should have got that education. But it's fun as hell to quit right. some shit, ain't it? Right, right. Like, fuck you, I was happy. Dick. I was happy. I was like, yeah. I can't see your fucking face no more. And they was trying to make me join a frat, too. So I was like, you know, that was, fuck that. that was, wait, the football players was trying to make you join a, a frat? Yeah. Nah, dog. Hell no. Nah. I used to go past their dorm rooms and fucking hear motherfuckers getting paddled and shit like that. <laughs> dog, and yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> in the black frats be ODing, dog. Crazy. They, they be branding motherfuckers and Man. like, nah, bro. I'm yeah. like, I'm not with the screaming. Like that movie <laughs> School Days. Yeah, fucking niggas yeah out they don't there. play that shit, man. That shit, that shit is wild. Right. Well, let's jump off into it. I'd like to play, uh, let's... Let's play. Um, let's play. Let's play the the single that you got, and then I'd also like to play an example of an example of some of some of your other stuff as well. Just uh, the mixtape stuff as well. So let's let's jump off into the single right now. Why don't you go ahead and and introduce it for everybody, man? Yeah, what up, it's your boy Chevy Woods of the Taylor Gang, and this is Thirty Deep, produced by my homie Big Germ. Yeah, let's go. You ever just five? We are back. It's an all out show. Straight out of Pittsburgh, we got Chevy Woods here. Yeah. That's 30 deep right there. All my All niggas. All my niggas. Oh, no, no. All my niggas. <laughs> who's, who's singing that? All right, all right. Who's doing that shit? That's just a, uh, like, a, like a sound that the homies back home at D-Labs, you know, E-Dan turned into, it sound like a voice. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Sound dope, man. It's clean. Dope, Thank man. you. 80 day 742-3345. You got people calling up from Pittsburgh. Let's go to Kevin in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yo, what Kev. Up? Go ahead, man. Yo, you got Chevy up? Woods. What up? What up, what bro? up, bro? How are you, bro? I'm chilling, man. What's good? I, I ain't fuck with you since Trick on the courtyard field, nigga. We used to moss niggas every day at lunchtime, cuz. <laughs> you remember that? That's trick? crazy. Yeah, yeah. I you know, know I remember that. that shit, with Taylor and all them niggas, man. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. Do your with thing. Jared and all them from East Hills and all that, man. Them was the homies. Uh, yeah, for sure. Hold it down, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay humble. You know the niggas in the burg got y'all back no matter what. You feel me? For sure, man. I appreciate it, cuz. No Let's doubt. Go, uh, we got Lamas. Almost. Lamus. Um, Lamus? Man, it was either that or lame ass. So I was gonna fucking blow it. So I was just like, let me stay as far away from that as possible. <laughs> lame hey. ass, nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Look, man, I got that all my life, man. Y'all messing with me. It's all good. What's going on, Shelly? What up, bro? I'm uh, proud of y'all boys, man. You know, uh, Bo has my cousin, man. So, you know, I, I love all y'all boys, man. You know, representing that Pittsburgh style. Lame is from where? Where you from? From Hollywood, bro. You used to play football, bro? Running back? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is, that's crazy for Westinghouse, dog. That's what you, you know my mom, bro. That's <laughs> wild as hell. My mom is Miss Woods, bro. She used to be the secretary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, <laughs> that's crazy man. man. That's what's you. up. It's good to hear from yeah. you. Yeah. You too, man. I'm living in uh, in Chester right now, Virginia, man. I just heard you over the radio. I'm like, calling myself with this boy, man. Let him know I support him. <laughs> For sure, man. Grand, man. I'm proud of y'all Pittsburgh boys. Do y'all that must thing. be cool. Like, Man, man, down, that must uh, be cool yeah. out there in in, uh, in Virginia. Get to hear some hometown shit, huh? Man, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Then y'all talking about fraternity, man. I just cried for making stuff five, man. Y'all talking about getting paddled. Don't nobody get paddled, man. That, no, yo, yo. I went to school. I was in college in 2001, bro. I seen it for myself. Yeah, yeah and just, I seen it just, on school days. They had them squeezing <laughs> bananas and, like, doing real <laughs> gay shit, man. That was some real... That shit get, it look real homoerotic a lot of times, man. It's like a cunt hair away from being, like, gay. Like, eat that banana out of his booty crack or some shit. I'm like, nah, man. Nah, man, we'll go through that, man. A little disclaimer. You know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, like that. I mean, yeah, it's good for some pussy. You know what I mean? Like, it's good to bang the little skeet skeet, the little pinky up chicks and shit like that. But come on, man. <laughs> no question. I don't, I don't, Chevy, I don't blame you for not being in that shit, man. And, and then you got to pay, too. It's not even like some free friends. You got to fucking rent them motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. We got Andrew in Miami. Andrew. Hey, man, what up? Dude. Shit, chill. You got Chevy over here, man. Holler at him. Hey, hey Chevy, what's good, man? Um, yo, I'm a, I'm, a big fan. I'm a big fan, bro. I just wanted to comment on uh, on your single because it's your, it's your single, like your first album and shit. I fuck with it. Um, but I straight up think it's like a damn um, Drake and YG fusion, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think you could do better than that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just being real. Of, of, of course, of course, you're gonna have your opinion. Mad love, so, though. Mad love, though. Mad love. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been. You've been listening to him since since Jump Street, Andrew. Oh, and we lost him. So. <laughs> Is it? Do you feel like that's? Do you feel like you're gonna get that like that type of reaction? Uh, if you got a, if you, if you have people that are used to a certain sound from your mixtapes, and now you're trying to branch out, reach more people, are you gonna? Do you feel like you're gonna get that type of uh, backlash? I just think that if people don't compare it to something, then it's you know it's not hip hop. It's always gonna, everything's gonna get, get compared to everything. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, you know James Brown did. You know, they told Michael Jackson that he dances like him. Right. But Mike still had his own spin on everything that he did. You know yeah. what I mean? And it, there's people no under him are dancing like Michael Jackson. It doesn't... That, if you're not getting compared to something, then you're doing something wrong. Well put. Mm -hmm. Manny in Brooklyn. Yo, what up, G? What up, C? What, what up, Jack? What up? Yo, what up, nah, man? I just want to give a shout-out. I think he's doing good. I'm doing, he's doing his thing. But I just want to make a quick comment about fraternities. I'm glad he fucks with that because when I went to school... Over here in fucking Syracuse, these niggas was motherfucking gay. They had this one cat fucking, similar to what you said, they had him fucking eat an onion out of a fucking, fucking, what was it? I think it was a garbage pile of fucking cow shit up some farm. It was fucking gay as shit. Yo, but I just want to say that. I fucks with the music and take care, y'all. Yeah, I, it, okay. I feel like the white the white fraternities get a little bit gayer and uh, <laughs> <laughs> just no nah, look man my homie is in a is in a is in a fraternity still to this day you know what I'm saying and 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 that's not it didn't work it didn't go like that for every frat you know I'm what I'm saying look, but it, you yeah. know it happens like a, things a, a it happens. seems like in a fraternity a like the the fraternity brother be like the type of dude to run up on his homeboy. Who's fucking abroad and like push his booty for him or some <laughs> shit like that? Like I got you, you know. Like it seems like that would be some fraternity shit to do. Yeah, I might be that's, wrong. That's that's the shit I'm trying to try to avoid that I did avoid. And you did. Congratulations <laughs> on that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt in Texas. Go ahead, Wyatt. Hey, what's up, dude? I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, to Chevy Woods. I saw him back up in Fargo with uh, Fargo, Chevy. North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate right. it, man. Right. Thank you, man. Hey. Thank you for the <laughs> shout out, bro. They don't talk yeah, much dude, in Fargo. I just, <laughs> I just want to tell them we're smoking a blunt for his ass right now. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> All right, yeah. dude. So you've got to tour a bunch, huh? What what, what, uh, what what cities and stuff did you really, were you really fucking with? Or were you surprised by that you that you enjoyed? Um, City I was surprised by? Kansas. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. 
They party like hell out there. They go hard than a motherfucker, yeah, yeah. huh? And they show up and support, you know what I'm saying? Each time I've been out there, whether it was by myself or with Wiz, they, you know, they showed up, you know, and showed love. I feel like they would be into ecstasy and shit a lot out there, or Molly or whatever the fuck I they mean, call I'm that shit. Pretty sure it's a lot of that going on, passing of the hands, you know, through the crowd. Yeah. I don't notice it, you know, because I don't be trying to look at their eyes and stuff like that. Well, ecstasy is a little more subtle. You got to really talk to them. They're like, right, man, right, you know, right. I just was listening to your song, man. Fuck it. <laughs> just, you're so great. You're so great. Some people act out, you know, some people act out in front of a crowd. They don't just be, you don't got to talk to them. They just do some more wild shit. You'd yeah, like, yeah, he's on some shit. Yeah, he's on a good one. You know what I mean? You know if a motherfucker's fist fighting on ecstasy, that then they got problems and shit like that. That right. type, like they got some real anger issues. I wonder who, if they're fighting somebody, who do they really think that they're fighting? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be the person in front of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like fighting demons, bro. <laughs> Fucking inner demons. Let's uh, let's jump off into this is this is the uh, pickups and drop offs. Right. Uh, tell me a bit about this song. Uh, my past life some yeah things i used to do pick it up drop it off pick it up again you know what i mean uh shout out the homie scooter we shot the video and everything uh in atlanta shout out cam kirk um uh, yeah my homie izzy the producer i'm not saying you would do yeah. this but just a person it, it, with the pick up and drop off that's like pick a person not you just right. anybody you go pick it up and then you gotta go take it to another city type right. shit right now was was the, was it coming from y'all city and going to another city, or would you have to, or was, hypothetically speaking, was 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 cats having to go to another city and bring it into y'all city? Um, for me, I'm gonna just you know because it's, it's it's very far removed. Yeah. Uh, if if I gotta go to 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 get it, I don't want it. And there it is, <clears throat> pickups and drop offs. <laughs> Let's go, Chevy Woods. That's Chevy Woods. Yeah. Young Scooter pickups and drop offs. Yeah, man. That's a new song? Uh last year. I mean when we dropped when I dropped my last mixtape, yeah. We Word. just put the visual out for it though. I was gonna say, cause it looked like the, the video just popped up. Right, right. Well, that's fucking awesome. I was really fucking with that pickups and drop off Thank song. You, man. Thank you. Well it was a pleasure to have you uh on the show and just chat with you, man. I appreciate you having me, man. It doesn't seem like you missing college really fucking mattered. You know what I mean? Nah, not at all. I still talk to some of the homies from college, you know. They're pretty much, you know, booked up, married with kids and, you know, watching TV. Shout out to them. Fucking A, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that life sounds really good. And then other times, like, I'm, I will fucking kill myself. But right, right. Whatever, you know, whatever works for you. Straight up. Like Straight that, up. Like that. Well, it sounds like you've been able to, you know, maintain both. Have, like, uh, do the rap thing and have a family, which isn't the easiest shit to do. Yeah, that's because, you know, my mom raised me well. Fucking that, dude. Well, let everybody know where they can find you, how they can follow you, and, uh, and where they can get your music. Um, on Twitter, at Chevy Woods. Uh, YouTube, Chevy Woods. Uh, Instagram, Chevy Bags, with an S. Uh, Chevy4800.com. I want to shout out to Taylor Gang. Shout out RM, RMM, my bad, Big P, uh, Michelle, Big A, my brother Light. Uh, shout out Wiz and Will, of course. You know what I'm saying? They've been, you know, very instrumental through everything that I've done. And, like, you know, I just want to say this. Like, uh, I did it. I've been, like, doing this for a while. You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like, like, now I'm really getting to, like, put my story out there. Because I did it to, to, like, the backwards way than just getting a hot song and then, you know, the label throwing me out there. Yeah. Like, I went through the grooming process of going on tour, you know, seeing Wiz, get the deal, you know, walk away from a deal, get another deal, you know, then go forward, create Taylor Gang. And, you know, now I just feel like, you know, I'm here and it's time. You got to see, you got to actually see like a blueprint be laid out for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like everything, you know, front to back. Like even like interviews, you know, going to radio, doing all of that. I've seen that. I've seen it all. 
It's crazy. Yeah, it's like that's one of this. It, it, it's funny you say that because like some of my favorite rappers, because I, I like the the new shit that I like is like usually dope dealer shit. Are there's there's some of the worst fucking interviews because <laughs> it's like straight hood. Sh it's like dude, we not in the hood right, right now. Right, like right. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying I can't tell you shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like well, why the fuck are you here, right. dog? Like go then go back to your porch, man. You can write, go back no, to the yes. fucking stoop. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, you can write that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come yeah. and have a, you know, a good conversation. And fucking deep, man. Well, it, it's, it, was, it's, it was a pleasure to chat with you, Chevy Woods. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And best of luck to you and everything. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, people. It's Feel Good Friday. Let's go. Ah! I feel good. Make me feel good. Just make me feel good. Move that Oh, yeah. It's Feel Good Friday on the All Out Show with Rude Jude and Lord Sia. Tell us what you feel good about. 888 Shade 45. Yeah, it's on. All right, man, we talk a gang of shit all week long. Oh, and then on Fridays, we try to like straighten it up a little bit and uh, focus on the shit that we're feeling good for. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling good about? What makes you happy? What brings you joy in your life? Call up and let us know. Can't get through? Just think about it. Think about how awesome life is. See what you're feeling good for, bud. I feel good, man. Uh, I'm going to have a good weekend. I started off uh, yesterday getting my dick sucked, so I think hopefully I get to call her again this weekend. Raka. So, Raka, you know, Raka. You know, I feel good about that. No day to play. I was starting. And, uh, and, yeah, man, Easter and all that. I feel good. 420 coming up, you know. Yeah, man. 420. Yeah. 420. What you feel good about Big Baby? I got a, I don't man. I'll tell you in a minute. We got, uh, oh. I don't, what am I feeling good about? I guess I feel good that, I don't know, uh, Easter's, Easter's around the corner. I don't know why I feel good. I guess I don't even feel that good. <laughs> I feel what? awesome. Uh, yeah, I feel good because of life and shit like that. I guess I'm grateful that uh, I've been working out and I can see results. I'm doing that rope shit. I'm doing the rope shit and the little kettlebell shit. I like that. I feel good about that. That's that's what's bringing me joy right now. We got a let's let's holler at problem. Hey, what? Why? Problem? What up, there, man? What's happening with it? What's happening, man? My boy, what it do, bro? Wow. Shit, chilling, man. Thanks for calling up on Feel Good Friday, dog. Where, uh, where you at? I'm actually at the lake right now. Um, I'm actually looking at the water. It's my CEO birthday, so we throw him a little thing. He on his way up here. If he's listening, fuck the surprise. What's up, nigga? So we up here waiting on him. <laughs> uh, I'm drinking Hennessy and uh, and just getting ready for this 420, man. House of Blue Sunset and the MCOM. I got a lot of great events this weekend. I'm ready to turn up. Be hot. Yeah, you're gonna be at. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna see you on Sunday after Easter. Yeah. After all the Easter shit goes down, you're gonna be at the House of Blues on Sunset, right? Yeah, man. After y'all finish, you know, fucking with your families, you know, that can be stressful sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you come from a family like mine, or the people that you know that deal with the people that deal with us. So you can get mm. through that, have fun, don't have fun, and come get high with me, man. I have a lot of special people gonna be in the house, like my bro Root, Drew. And we're going to be high as shit. I'm giving out like 500 joints, too. So it's going to be crazy. Am I going to be on the list, or do I got to pay to get in? <laughs> if you don't get the fuck out of here, man. First of all, you're white. They're going to let you write the fuck in. You're going to have no yeah. problem. Damn. They're going to let you, you write so? in the back. Though. Yeah. Good. No, They're not going to be like, sir, own. I think you're lost. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. I got you on. You at the top of the list, bro. I wish my boy can get on out here, man. Just come on, come fuck with me, man. Fly on out. I know, man. Damn, man. I got to find four seatbelts for a chair first, man. You know? Jude ain't going to help me find no seatbelts. Nah. That's just enabling. You know what I mean? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> so that's enabling. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah, man. Fall 20. Also, Blue is going to be crazy, man. Diamond Lane Music Group. Smoke. First annual Smoke and Fresh. I'll be doing them every year from now on. Just celebrating life, man. Having a good time. Feeling good on this fucking Friday. No, that's awesome, man. Enjoy the fucking lake. You want to jump off into a song? Oh, yeah, man. Um, 
Stop. This just probably don't feel good, but this, it makes me feel good. I wrote to this song up and down the freeway highways for nice man. Ozzy Brothers, let me down easy. It's one of my joints. I got that. Play that. All right, let's jump off into it right now. All right, problem man. I'll see you on Sunday, my dude. Man, see y'all, man. Fuck with me, man. Smoking uh, fresh, man. How's the blues? What? Nigga, what? <laughs> what? All right, man. Peace. Here it go. Little Isley's. Yeah, that's right, son. Yeah, son. Yeah, yeah, son, yeah, son. son. Yeah, son. 888-742-3345. We got Megan in Atlanta on Feel Good Friday. What are you feeling good about? Hey, dude. I'm feeling good today because I have spent one year with my amazing boyfriend. And, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just excited to go out tonight and have some fun. What are you going to do? What are you going to do on your big one-year anniversary? Yeah. Um, I guess we're going to go out to dinner and then probably have some sexy time later. Oh. A little sexy time? Little, oh. You're going you're gonna to dress up like a horse? Like put uh, <laughs> put one of them horse tails in your booty and then like kind of <laughs> clop around? No, I'm not like that. Oh. <laughs> Bummer. Bummer. Nothing well, special, nothing, no, nothing special on the one year anniversary. Not, none of the. None I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. S- see how drunk you get, basically. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, that's cool. Congratulations and uh, thank you. And, and enjoy your night. You too. Let's go to. Let's go to. Uh, we got Black Ass Kenny. What oh, up, Black oh, Ass man. Kenny? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what up, nigga? How what you up, been, dog? Man, everything lovely, man. Everything lovely, man. I feel good, man. I just dropped five hundred twenty-one dollars and ten cents in the mail for the last goddamn time, man. I paid these GMC folks off. I paid this goddamn truck off, man. I'm happy than a motherfucker, man. I feel like shedding a tear, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Yo, uh, so hold up. You got is it your work truck or like uh just the drive around no, no, truck? No, a personal ride, man. That's cool, man. Congratulations oh, on that shit, dog. Uh, I appreciate that, man. I know, I know New York folks probably don't know how that shit feels because y'all ain't just there. They got to have a ride to get around. But down here, man, you got to have a goddamn ride. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm not enough driving yeah. car for shit, man. Nah, yeah, you be out there in Memphis. What, they ain't got no motherfucking subway or no shit like that, huh? I ain't got no subway. The bus service is like a goddamn waiting on a limo to come pick your ass up, man. <laughs> so, man but, uh, but, man, I, I love the show, man. You know, I, I stay fucking with y'all niggas, man. There you go. Yeah, back in Michigan, uh, in Detroit, my homeboy used to, uh, he, he used to, when he wanted to test out his gun, he would go ride the bus out there. <laughs> he so fucked up. Yeah, you get a new gun and go ride the bus to see if someone tests them. It's it's a little grimier than New uh, New York. We got Craig in Houston. Craig, what up, dude? What up, Sear? Hey, man, what's going on? Chilling, man. Yeah, y'all having a good Friday? Fuck yeah, we're having yeah, a good, man, a feel good on. Friday. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Awesome. You want to know why I'm feeling great? Tell us. Well, because I'm on the phone with you guys. And I've oh also been a you call. Stop. I was. I. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What happened? I just don't have the patience today. What happened? Shit. What's going on? Just tell on? us what you feel good about, man. Come on, dog. Just come on. Get in there. And look, I had to hang up on you on Feel Good Friday. <sighs> Dave in Dallas, what you feel good for, man? Yo, man. It's been a week since my vasectomy, so the doctor gave me the green light. Wife can start sucking my dick again, getting all that sperm just sitting in my tubes, man. Start fucking again. No more kids, dude. No more kids for me. I'm done, oh, man. No, no, you can't say that. I'll be fucked. No, man. You gotta be busting them bitches, man. Nah, man. I, now I can bust in her and don't have to worry about another fucking kid coming out, man. How many kids you got? I got two, man. I'm done. Two's good for me. I got my two boys. She's in session one and a girl, but she sees all these girls with all this drama now, so now she's she's good, man. She's good with her two, her two boys. Your vasectomy means... Your sperm doesn't work. That shit is mad faulty. <laughs> you, hey, let me ask That's you. That's right. 
Let me ask you this yeah. for real. Like, is it gonna yeah. feel as good when you come, knowing that you got like defective ass sperm now? Like, is it gonna feel as good? Well, see, the thing is, I was asking the uh, doc the same thing. Like, dude, am I gonna have the same sensation? Am I gonna be feeling that shit? He basically just told me he's like, look, dude, it's been a week since you busted enough, so that's just that shit's just gonna come out. Like, if you were to get some soap from your soap dispenser, I am gonna shoot out. It's gonna ooze out. <laughs> and he told me I'm gonna be like, dude, dude, dude. Yeah, that's what he told me, dude. He's like, press that soap down. It's just gonna ooze out. It ain't even gonna shoot out. So man, man I'm well, kind of worried, but dude, I don't have to worry about no fucking kids, man. There, well, enjoy that shit. Enjoy that shit. That's yes, you're a bad yes, motherfucker, sir. Dave. I don't know if I can ever be that dude to get a fucking vasectomy, but I sure do like the idea of just being able to come inside of girls. But I feel like man. half of the fun is just getting chicks pregnant not that i'm gonna do that because child support's a motherfucker but like god damn knowing that you can't get a chick pregnant i don't even know if i'll be able to give my dick hard anymore <laughs> my shit might be depressing a motherfucker like what's the use <laughs> oh well <laughs> why bother <laughs> why, why me bother? all right man let's uh hear here's a little what amg you got? what you got what you got this that bitch better have my money. Gotcha. This that bitch better have my. Hold on, I'm a, and I'm gonna make it so it's louder. All right here it is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's get that shit right now. Bitch better have my motherfucking money. Let's go. Bitch. How I be What the hell we got the bitch? This thing kills me every time. Yeah. (laughs) How many kids you got? We go feed and clothe them. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, how you doing? (laughs) Uh, Call us up right now. 888-742-3345. Cause a rain now. Yeah. One, two, three, three, four, five. It yeah, is. Man. What you feel good for? Feel good Friday. We got a uh, Brandon in Freeport. What up, Brandon? What up, dude? What up? What up, man? What you feeling good for? Chilling, man. I'm feeling good. I'm about to go drive see my little brother. Join the military. I haven't seen him in a couple months, so I'm go chill with him. And we got tickets to go see Devin the Dude in Dallas, bro. I'm excited, uh, man. That's cool, man. Have fun out there, man. Appreciate you. All right, let's go to uh, Mike in Chicago. Mike. Jules said, what up? What up, what up? What up, though? What up, what up? Shit, man, I'm feeling good. I got this black and Puerto Rican girl later on the night. We finna smoke some weed, hit the club, drink a little drink, and then go to the hotel and fuck all night. That's awesome. You know, Sarah's black and Puerto Rican, too. That's right. That's what's up. He know the deal. God damn it. So you can it. pretend like it's Sear when you're doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. Me, brother. Me. Me. <laughs> but I got nice curly hair, though. Have hey, your y'all keep, doing, keep doing the same. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. Y'all crack me up every day, man. No doubt. All right, man. Told you to so say. Like the drunk mix. Yeah, told you to tell you <laughs> some, some more jokes. And uh, and before you kill yourself, put on the pill mix first. <laughs> D.C. in North Carolina. D.C., what up? Hey, what up? What up, though? What up, man? Hey, what up, G? What up, sir? Hey! What up? What's poppin'? Yeah, I'll tell you why I'm feeling good. Because tell I was us. working out here. I was working out here at <laughs> this church all day, wiring up a church. And I had these two blind chicks that was eyeballing me all day long. And then uh, when I got off work today, they was waiting behind the building. And I got a blow job from both of them. That's why I fuck I'm feeling good. Wait, hold up. So you was doing work at a, you you was doing work at a church. I was wiring and, a motherfucking church, and I got a blowjob yeah. behind that bitch. From the women that worked at the church. From the women that were moving furniture into the church, they were with the church. This is a brand new Word. church they're moving into. Word. 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 How was how was that shit? How was that blonde that hair? It was motherfucking fucking spectacular, up. dog. That shit was mind blowing. That shit was mind blowing. I, I was fucking blown away, bro. You must have been. Yo, let take, me ask I you was, this. I was, I was taken back by the shit. You were surprised by the aggressive nature of these two women that were just went no, and attacked the your penis. Aggressive nature is not even that shit. That shit don't even explain these bitches. 
he's been How did that shit jump bro. off? How are they like, come well, on back over here? Yeah, I, I was on my way dick. out to go pick up my fucking paycheck. I had to leave early today. I was on my way out. So I walk around the corner, and these two bitches are sitting here, man. They're like, yo, what's up? I've been watching you all day. So wow. um, so these bitches were like, what's up? You want to ride down the street? I'm working right beside a fucking police station. So we ride down the street, dog. I'm literally like eyeball fucking, an eyeball away from fucking like 50,000 cops. And these bitches are like, pull over right here. And they start Damn. fucking me off, dog. And these bitches oh, are making shit. out. Dog, this shit was off. Oh, Who gave God. better head? Was there like one chick that gave better head and you wanted to keep your dick in her mouth longer or were they equally both good? No, nah, them bitches were equally great head givers. <laughs> <laughs> My word. All right, man. My word. All right, man. I'm going to see if... I- See, I'm gonna see if I can uh, pull up a dick sucking song in honor of you getting your dick sucked uh, <laughs> for Word. by for by, uh, by some chicks. Uh, let's. Uh, all right, bro. All right, peace. Peace. Feel good Friday. Fade us, man. Shave forty five. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Let's go to uh, Frank in South Carolina. It's Feel Good Friday. Let's know what you're feeling good for. Yo, what up, Frank? Hey, what's good, Jude? What's good, Sir? What up, dog? What up? Ain't, what up? Ain't shit, man. I'm feeling good because I just graduated from fucking law school, man. Fucking unbelievable, man. So if y'all ever need a, if y'all ever need a good criminal defense lawyer in South Carolina, holler at me. Hell yeah! You take the bar already, or you you still got to do that shit? <laughs> no, I'm about to do that in July. Hell yeah! So you 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 not done yet, but you you halfway there, huh? Yeah, yeah. I got the hard part down, the three-year part. Now I just got another, you know, three months. So, wait, hold up. You going to do, like, what you going to do, like, drunk driving and shit like that? And, uh, I mean, I'm, robbery? I, I'm all about, I'm all about, like, drug defense, man. Like, I, I, I've done, I've done some work at the public defender's office where I, like, I try to get searches invalidated, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Fourth Amendment searches, that kind of shit. That's what I'm interested in, man. I got, I got a real issue with cops and fucking searching, you know, searching people and shit like that. But uh, he but fucking DUI, too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hate that fuck shit. Fuck the motherfuckers. Fuck your motherfucker. I, I, hey, hey, a cop's worst nightmare is a fucking good ass lawyer. So that's what I'm, I'm Damn trying right. to be. Yeah, I'm tired of these motherfuckers like pulling cats over and searching them without without uh, consent and shit like that. So man, yeah, they, they do that shit, shit all the yeah. They do that shit all the time in the south, man. I'm sure they do that shit Bruh. all the too. Back in Michigan, that we I don't know how many times I ended up on the curb while they was running my shit. Fucking yeah, not finding nothing, ass motherfuckers. They did. All right, Frank. Too. All right, y'all. Those y'all be hot ass. Peace, peace, dog. We got uh Steve, uh Steve in Oakland. What up, Steve? Hey, Steve. Yeah. What's up, Steve? Hey, Steve. What's up, Loke? Hey, Steve. What's up, Loke? <laughs> <laughs> what up, though, man? What you feeling good about? Man, I was finally. I got laid off today, so I was finally able to tell my boss to eat a dick. You got laid off. Uh, Where was you working at? Uh, I was working at the milk plant, my dude. <laughs> Word. How did your how did your boss take that shit when you told him to eat a dick? Well, as soon as he handed me the check, I was like, "Hey, check it out. It's like this, my man. You know, for all this time that we've been working here, you know, this is what you're doing wrong. I'm tired of your shit. I've had my fill of you. You know what? Eat a dick. Give me my check, and I'll be out." Bam. Bam. You know? What did he say? Did he say anything, or was he just like, "All right, well, fucking just, Steve, hey, get man, out of here." Kind of. Yeah, he was like, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Here you go. Here's a check. Get the fuck out. That's that, you know? Bam. There you go. All right, well, congrats on being laid off, and hopefully you get a job soon. You got Ray in New York. Ray. Yo, Joe, what's good, man? Shit, what up, man? What up, dog? What up, what up? Man, you already know, man. Shit, I'm, I'm calling, man. Shit, your boy got a baby boy on the way, man. Oh, Congratulations. Shit. Congrats. Hey! hey. Put your dick in her Then you spermed all in her With your sperm Congratulations to you on that, sir Now, I appreciate you, bro, you already When, uh, this this a special lady, uh, this your girl or or, or what? Man, crazy shit, Joe, check it me and Shorty yeah. we broke up, man, like five months ago, man. On my day that I'm moving out the crib, Shorty hit me with, oh, you know you got the baby, right? I'm like, wow. 
So we mm. broke up, though, but I got the seed coming. You know, it's all good. It's my <laughs> first born, so I can't even knock it, though. You feel me? All right, all right. Congrats. And at least it's not like a booty call. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's your ex. You nah, know what I mean? Yeah, 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's good. Me and her, we got mad years together. You know what I'm saying? I mean, only problem is shorty out in Cali. So got to just make mm. that trip, you know? It's all good. Yeah, it is. Do your thing, well, man. shit, congrats, man. That's fucking dope, uh-huh. dog. And, uh, appreciate you. Have Joe, fun with your baby. Man. Oh, no, I appreciate right you, brother. Oh, Yo, man. peace. peace. Yes, John and the D, what up, John? What up, dog? Shit, what up, What up, dog? Man. What up, man? What you feeling Yo, good about? Yo, man, I just want... Yo, I'm feeling good, first off, because I'm listening to y'all clowns after work. Like I do every mm. day. I can't believe I'm talking to y'all. No bullshit. All oh, right? Oh, anyway. You are. Yeah. My bad. Bro. Close your eyes. You better believe it, bro. Yeah, close your I eyes. Believe now. It, I believe it. I hear you. Anyways, I feel good for one because I'm I'm listening to y'all. Two, I got me a hundred fifty dollar gift card from my boss out of nowhere and a paid day vacation. Damn, that's crazy, ah, dude. Boy. Hell that's yeah, bro. Awesome. I'm feeling good, man. Yeah, Hell yeah, it's yeah. it's cool. It's cool when a boss like fucking appreciates a cat, and ain't no better way than uh getting some free shit. In a in a day off, man. So enjoy that, bro. I'm not. I I ain't lying, man. I am gonna enjoy it, bro. And one more thing, I'm feeling What's good that? about. I, I'm hitting my weed man's house right now, and I'm feeling to sprinkle mm. a little bit in the in the blunt for you and Sir, and I'm blowing the hell out that shit, bro. <laughs> Straight up, enjoy that shit. Enjoy that shit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna jerk off, and I'm gonna bust a nut for you, yeah! bro. <laughs> With no motherfucking rug. <laughs> nah, none of that shit. It's gonna land on my thumb. I'm gonna be like, this is for my man in Detroit. Oh, yeah. What up, dope? <laughs> D Hart in Richmond. What up? What's up, brother? What up, dope, man? What you feeling good for? Man, I'm feeling good because I caught a fucking bitch ass robber last night trying to break into all the cars in my parking lot. Fucking got the Richmond police. I know people talking shit about the police, but they came out, did their job, and, and we. This motherfucker down, got his ass, got all of our stolen property back. So we, we whip his ass. Good. We, oh yeah, we whipped his fucking ass. He is bleeding and crying like a bitch. That's yeah. That's the that's the exciting part. You can leave the cop part out of it. I want to hear about the ass oh, whipping, yeah, bro. The, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the fact is, I saw a lady cop punch him right in the fucking mouth. That's what I'm talking about. There it is. Made him, Won't, there made him look it like is. a real bitch. A real bitch like he was. Bam, there it is. Fucking D Heart killing cats in Richmond. Bam. Yo, uh, hey, look, man, I don't think, let me just qualify this shit. I don't think all cops are fucking assholes. This yeah, is just enough all of for them. me to be like, some of these cops are fucking assholes. Yeah. And I know we got cops that listen to us, so shout out to all the cops out there. Thank you for protecting my yeah. shit. Yeah, shout out to Big Easy. He said, when they, my chubby fat friend, he's a cop. There, there you go. And for you cops out there listening, why don't you do us, if you fucking with the All Out Show, do us a favor today on Feel Good Friday. Maybe you pull somebody over. Let them, let them slide. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Let on, them slide man. for it's Feel Good Friday. Friday. Do it for the All Out Show. It's a good Friday it anyway. Us. God damn it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, damn. What's up, G? What you got on your side? Here's a little Mac Dre since 84. All right. Five Feel Good Fridays. Feel good about. Yeah. Are we done? Are we, take, are we taking right. these calls? Uh, are we done or what? Yeah, are we're we taking done. these calls? We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Hey, Jeff, shout out to you. You broke up with your girl. That sounds awesome. Nick also broke up with his girl. Whoa, so exciting. They're both feeling pretty good. New pussy, dog. Nothing like some new pussy. Nothing like it. Go fucking find some new vagina and jump in that shit. You better swim in it. Swim in it. You know, you're going to start working out and shit. That's what happens when they when you break up with your girl. You start doing more push-ups. And, mm. Get, get, get that tone. shit right. Get, get a good tone on your body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> D in Florida paid off his uh, XM account. He can listen to the show. So thanks oh, for right. tuning in, D. We got a, uh, what is it, Sear vs. Words next? Words, yes. Oh, buddy. Oh, Caesar man. on the mix. Yeah. Yep. I got to win this one. Uh-uh. It's the, this is the special edition. This is the European edition. Since I'm half white. We did our genetics test and found out Sir was, had a lot of white in him. 30%. 30% white. It's a lot, bro. It's a lot of white. It's not a lot of white. It's one third white. That's a white dog. Shut the f- White power, Sir. You're white, bro. White ha! Here. Congratulations oh, to you on that. Come on. 
All right, let's uh, let's play a song and come back with Sears White Ass. <laughs> Shut the. <laughs> this is a White Ass Sear. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Harlem, New York, weighing in at an astonishing amount, the Almighty Lord Sear, and his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Hailing out of the English language, the current reigning and defending champion of the world! Words. Yes, I saw it. What's up, son? What's up? What's up, son? Seer vs. Words is a very special edition. We did our genealogy earlier this week, and Seer found out that he is one third uh, European. European. That's right. White. No, it doesn't have to be white. It could be like you you're know, damn near uh, Drake. You are damn near Drake. Drake is nothing. fifty percent. And you are thirty percent. What does that mean? What it means you're almost Drake, which is awesome because he's really good. Yeah. So that's yeah, well, you know, it's like a compliment, bro. I'm good, also. You know what I'm so Not great, are. but I'm good. Yeah. Good enough. Pretty good, you know. You ready? You ready to play? I'm ready. I am ready, man. And which one is this one, brother? This is uh, the European edition. Okay. In honor of you finding out that you're almost all white. No, um, not all. It's just like I'm forty. Your whole life is black. Been a lie. Uh, thirty percent white. Some Puerto Rican. Ten percent Indian. Forgot about the Indian. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So. We're going to have five words for Seer. He's got to read it and then say what the word means. I think you're going to fucking lose. I think you, this I, I gonna am. I know. I you, know I'm going to fucking lose. Thanks. Damn. But it'll be a good it'll be a good chance for you to look into look deeper into your Caucasian side. OK. And learn more about yourself. Uh, well, My white brother. Uh, what? My fellow white guy. You ready to do this shit? I'm ready to do it, white brother. Let's <laughs> fucking do it. <laughs> Sarah's words, the European edition. Oh, here we go. Bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie. Okay. Damn, you motherfucking motherfuckers, man. Damn it. Uh, Borgicio. Bo Bagoris Boa Um Is this a um is this an animal? Uh a uh, Borgasha Bor Borgiosi Borgiosi Bor Borgasho It's like a whack men's cologne You smell nigga on that Borgasio Get you some polo nigga what is I don't know this word, man. But Bagarcio. Is that how you say it? Sam. Damn, Sam. It's bourgeoisie. It's where bougie comes from. What? Yeah, it's like uh I think it's French and it had to do with like the middle class. Let's it's see, so let me see. Up. Is a word from the French language used in the fields bougie. of political? Yeah. Yeah, you know when someone's acting bougie, it's yeah. like they're acting like kind of stuck up, and it's a uh, which originally denoted denoted the wealthy stratum of the middle class that originated during the latter part of the Middle Ages. Mm. European words, bourgeoisie, the bourgeoisie, <laughs> bourgeoisie, I just go with me. So uh, you got the first one wrong. I, that was out cold for Sam to start you out with yeah, that one. I, Sam, the fuck me. I'm sorry. Sarah. It's tough. No, it's, it's okay. tough. I'm sorry, man. She's acking real bougie right now. Yeah, yeah she got her job and yeah. shit. You know, full time. Yeah, hoodie and now on. look at her. Yeah, thug mm -mm -mm. dragon. All right, let's get this next one. Here it is. Sarah vs. Words European Edition. Peninsula. Peninsula. Uh, Peninsula, Peninsula, 
Peninsula. Peninsula? What the? What, Peninsula. Um. Peninsula. Uh. Can I have a. What is that? What'd you call that shit again? A pass? You want a pass? Yeah. You want a pass on that I word? don't know what a peninsula is. It's a peninsula, bro. It's a peninsula. A peninsula is a uh, a body of land surrounded on three sides uh, by water. Oh, like Mich- Michigan is a peninsula. That's why I know that shit. Oh, the upper Florida. peninsula and the lower peninsula, Florida. Far right Italy away. is a pen. Italy. I don't. I don't know about. I don't probably. This is crazy. I don't know about no peninsula. <laughs> You keep getting this wrong. Us white people are going to stop claiming you. Oh, man. That's all I'm saying. You, we're we're going to reject your Caucasian card. You can't do that, man. <laughs> you can't do that. All right. You, he's passing. What's the, what's the one he's going to do instead? Uh, let me see. Czar. Czar. Oh, Kazar. No, Caesar. Um, Cesar. Cause. Um, wait a minute. Is this a, um, I know what this is. Uh, Kazar. Like the Rizza. Kaza. Um, oh it's God. a, um, no, 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 no. Isn't it, um, a warrior? No. Is this a, a book? This was what this was the word. I was like, hey man, if he's doing really bad, throw him this word. I told you, Jude. I told you. Hey, yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Um, um Cesar, right? Is it Kazar? Hit Kazar. the motherfucking. What? what is it, man? It's czar. It's like the it's like the king or emperor. It's Russian. Well, the Kazar. Well, why? I got it's from Z. Caesar. Oh, the it's Z, from Caesar. C got to be silent. No, the yeah, I guess so. Yeah, oh, the C, okay. the C is silent, but it's from it's from Caesar and Kaiser would be the German way to say it. And, uh, uh, Kaiser. Yeah, and Kaiser. Czar. And czar is the Russian. Oh. Give him nine. Jesus Christ, you're really doing awful at this, man. You do not know Europe. Maybe we can give you the African word one. Yeah, next. Man, listen, word <laughs> next up. I know all that shit. I'm ready. Serious words, European edition. Oh man. Third word. Uh, he has yet to get any any of them right, and he's already used his pass. Okay. Hit him with nine. Euro. Euro. Oh, Euro, like money? There you go. There you go. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh, there man. you go. Look at that. Woo. All right. I know about that paper. <laughs> I was in one fucking Euro. I was like, ha, ha. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 shit. All right, Woo. that's all right. You got you got two wrong. You got one right. It's <laughs> Cerevers words, European edition. He just got yeah, Euro good, right, ladies good. and gentlemen. What is it? Guillotine. Guillotine. Uh, guillotine. That's a sword or a knife or guillotine. Uh, the shit that cut your head off. Throw him in the guillotine. You cut your head off? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's right. All right. Woo. That's right. Woo. All right, Sierra. You got two right, you got two wrong. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, shit. Two right, two wrong. You have, this is, it's up to you. Oh, you get shit. to, you, it's up to you whether you're, uh, whether you get this right or wrong. So uh, you can pick the word, the third word, the fourth word. So you got, you can pick from three, four. Seven, three, four, six, seven, ten, or eleven. Three. Oh, you fucked. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't laugh at 
<laughs> you might get this shit. You might get this shit. I don't know. Norse. Uh, Norse. Laughing at me, man. Oh no, man. Norse. Uh, not a noose. Uh, can I get another one? <laughs> Damn, man. Sorry, sir. This is a word that you picked. Oh, yeah, shit. You picked this word. Um, Norse. Is it um? Is it a European nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, give me the Norse. <laughs> My stomach hurt. Um, um, is it a um, a fucking dragon's nose? A Norse? A nose? Norse? Uh, go to the east. Go to the north. Uh, um, it ain't a noose. I don't know what a noose is. That's as they gonna play next at eight o'clock. Nigga music. Uh, what is it? Uh. Instead of a horse, you get on the Norse. Use that in a sentence, please. Man, listen, man. This dirty-ass Norse got to get his feet clean. Be traveling everywhere. Don't give that Norse no carrot. Norse is stink to ride on. Black stallion Norse. Uh, Norse, uh... <sighs> just... You wait a minute. Just quit. You just I wait a minute. I was had it, dude. Why y'all do this deep? Did really bad on this European version. You got Euro and Guillotine right. You got Norse wrong. Bourgeois Z. What is a Norse? Uh, Czar. Norse is uh it's a bunch of different it's the it actually does mean North. And it's the Oh my god The language of ancient Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and I Iceland. was right. No, Doing this you weren't again? Even fucking Close. I when was were you right? North. Which, which I said which part? to go to the east to go to the north. You just. Oh wow! That, Again. Yeah, that was you cracking a joke. No, now I'm, even, oh, I was cracking a joke. Okay, I knew what I was saying. North, like north. You, you didn't say. You never said north. Oh wow! You never even said it. You never said it, sir. But that's you what I was applying it. to when I said east to the north. <sighs> Sir, just wow. take, just lose like a man. Just walk away. You didn't, no. you didn't say it right. Oh man, this is the worst. Norse, it's a, uh, you know, that's the Norse. It's, it's like the, uh, I think those they got like you got the Norse, the gods and shit. You got like, the uh, answer there. Thor take your time. And Odin. Oh, it has to do with Vikings. Vikings are, are, better, awesome. are better than than, than than dragons. What did you say? And ninjas. Uh, Sir, uh, you I just won. gotta learn how to lose. You gotta lose with some class. I won. Lose with some class. Can't wait to use now that you're effect. now that you're uh, now that you're part white. You gotta learn how to lose with some class. Well, listen, I lost two words and then I won two words. What is it? Okay. <laughs> Why is she doing that? One, because man? she's fucking bored and ninjaless and tired. And a fucking little hoodie on. Like a little red riding hood. It's fucking... Press another button. The show's about to... See, it's about to DJ. You might as well press all the buttons you can. Damn. I knew what a Norse was. That's fucked up, man. That's all right. Your Caucasian card has officially been revoked. Fuck it. At least I'm half <laughs> Indian and Puerto Rican. Fuck it. I don't know if they. I don't know if they want you either. But uh, yeah, I don't want to be no fucking European either. No one's fighting over you to claim you. Hey, I'm not <laughs> waiting for that. <laughs> well, you did pretty good. Um, kind of, but not really. Next next week, what do you want to do? You want to do like the African edition or some nah, shit like nah. that? Nah, let, nah. Let's do the um, shit, the Spaniard one. I don't know. Since you part Puerto Rican? Yeah. All right. I got to know okay. my shit now. I got to. <laughs> got to. <laughs> oh, man. This is why. Sucks. Good job, Sierra. Good job. You tried your best. Thanks. Penis Swella. <laughs> hey, that's it. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, what? 
man. We have let's somebody go. from Panama spinning next. That's Caesar. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Let's go.